Hi, it's the Rawsome Vegan Gal here, and today I'm doing another video. This is part eight for Soul Lee, and I will have a link below to their website. You can check out all the products and all about the company. So this is a really cool product, and I actually have a recipe I'm going to be doing with, with it, and I have most of the stuff pre-prepared, meaning prepared in advance, um, so it makes the video a little shorter. So there's not a, a, the prep time, I should say, I did. So um, I came up with a really kind of fun recipe in using uh, the product that I'm going to showcase and also some of their other products that I've already reviewed. And um, so this is their organic fruit and nothing else. Green, pas green, excuse me, green banana fusilli pasta. It's got five organic green bananas. So this is what the box looks like. And I have some that, it, that I didn't cook. So I didn't cook the whole, um, the whole uh, package, which was five ounces. So I'll show you what they look like in their dry form. So it's, um, it says it's good for delicious savory pasta dishes, but I'm actually going to be doing something sweet, and I'll tell you in a minute. So it's just one ingredient. They use um, organic fruit. It cooks and tastes like traditional pasta. So it's using green banana. You might not be aware that green banana is actually a resistant starch, so it's, it's very good to feed the, uh, the probiotic, meaning your, your, your gut bacteria. Um, so they have a cute little picture here I wanted to show you of the banana with kind of the pasta. It's fusilli is like kind of curls. So they have this cute little picture right here. I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to tell you a whole bunch about uh, this product first and then show you all the other information or share with you, I should say, all the other information and any other products I'm going to be using to make the recipe. I'll also share that information below. So this is, um, it says it cooks in three to four minutes. I actually, when I cooked it, I let it cook a little longer. It goes al dente, which means it's a little chewy. Um, it's still chewy, but I did it maybe like five, six minutes. Uh, also, paleo-friendly, gluten-free, always vegan. Um, it's high in iron and potassium. It's certified gluten-free, uh, non-GMO project verified, USDA organic kosher. I said it was a five-ounce package. Um, also, um, BPA-free. It says store in a cool, dry place. Uh, recyclable materials, meaning the packaging. I don't know if the bag inside is, but possibly too. So it says this is the only pasta that comes straight from a tree. The magic starts with freshly harvested whole organic green bananas filled with all the nutrition, goodness, and simplicity that only Mother Nature can provide. Green bananas have a delicious and rich savory flavor. They are a good source of fiber, are high in iron and potassium, and are uniquely suited for crafting rich tasting fusilli. That's the shape of the uh, pasta. Our solely banana pasta opens up amazing culinary possibilities all with just one nutritious ingredient. It says amazingly appealing. I like that's cute because you peel the skin of the, of the banana. And so as I said, we've transformed organic green bananas into delicious pasta without compromise. Our green banana fusilli cooks to an al dente texture with a classic pasta flavor that pairs perfectly with all your favorite sauces and recipes. And it also says here, um, eating pasta made from green bananas is a delicious way to add fruit, nutrients, and fiber to your diet while enjoying simple, minimally processed foods that are better for farmers, better for the planet, and better for the people. Um, and they're solely farm, family farms and issues. It's good for you and good for the earth too. I like that. So how do you make this? Uh, now that I give you all of that information, a little bit more I'm going to share before I tell you about how to make it. So uh, as far as nutritional information, it says it's three servings per container. Serving size is one cup. Uh, per serving, it's 150 calories. So I'll just give you the per serving information. It's got 13% um, carbs, four grams fiber, or 16% uh, fiber, I should say, two grams of protein. It's got 6% calcium and 30% iron, which is quite a, quite a bit, and 20% potassium, so it's high in those. And then how do you make this? Um, and also so you know why is the pasta black, because I'll show you the pasta is actually black. I can actually take it out from here so I can show you. So this is what the pasta looks like. I'll take one out of here that's dry so you can see it in its dry form. So I used probably about two thirds of the bag, I think it was, and it made quite a bit. So this is what it looks like dry. And why is it black? And I'll tell you, um, because it, it's green, it's green banana, so you, you wouldn't know why it, it's actually turned black. So it says here, why is the green banana pasta black? Our pasta's rich black color is a result of the natural process that we use to dry green bananas. Now, they don't share that as proprietary, I guess it's for them, but so that makes it black. So this unique color gives your meal a special look, and it tastes just as it should, like delicious traditional fusilli. The directions they give is bring a, a 1.2 quarts of salted water to boil. I don't use salt in it, just so you know how I do it. And then add the pasta, cook for three to four minutes. Again, I added, I cooked it maybe five, six, or seven minutes. And it says rinse, strain, and serve with your favorite sauce. I don't rinse it. I actually just take the pasta out of the pot, and I actually reuse the water since there is nutrients in there. 
So, and then it says water may turn black, which is the natural result of the cooking process. Other things it says here, I think we went through all of them. Uh, it's also gluten-free, grain-free. I don't know if I mentioned that. Good source of dietary fiber. I think everything else I've mentioned. So now on to the recipe, but I will also show you what the pasta looks like cooked, and I will try it and tell you what I think of it um, as a pasta made from green bananas. This is, again, very, very unique, um, very innovative. This company always comes up with new innovative products. I just want to make sure I close this properly, take the air out, make sure it's sealed. Okay. So I'll put this back in here now. And I'll show you what it looks like cooked. Of course, it looks pretty much the same, and it does cook up really fast. So I just have it in this bowl here, and I'll just show you that in the camera, if you can see that. And I'm just going to try it. And it does. It just tastes like pasta. It doesn't taste any different to me. Like, um, as far as it tasting like bananas, it doesn't. It tastes like pasta. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't think any different, but that's, that's what it is. So what I'm making... I decide something fun is a fruity yogurt sauce um, with croutons now how am I doing this so I actually already pre-prepared like I said it prepared in advance um, the um, the fruity sauce part of it so what I used actually was from a from a previous uh, review I did of their other products this is the solely dried organic pineapple pieces and dried organic mango pieces so these are the packages that they come in and i think i use close to the full amount is one ounce in here and 0.8 i don't think i use all of it but i did this in a blender and the blender i have i'll mention too it's it's this little personal blender from a company called tribest i've had it for quite a long time so i don't know if they're still making it and they come with bpa free um, containers you could also use glass so what i did was i put the fruit it's already been blended because uh, i don't have a outlet here just to show you right and how to blend it but um I, I think i had this much of the fruit and i soaked it for a little bit not very long because i wanted to use the pieces if i used their whole fruit it would have taken a lot longer so what i did was i actually soaked it which was kind of interesting i have this um tea it's honest uh ginger oasis herbal tea it's unsweetened and i'll also put that below i don't know if they're still making it but um it's a, it's a great beverage um with no caffeine and no sugar so i decided to add that um, as the liquid part in here and it's also got lemongrass it's got some other nice things so all i did was pulse this in the in the blender i'll just show you that real quick I, i'm not actually going to do it but I'm just just to kind of give you an idea so there's the, like a pulse um way you can do it so i just kind of pulsed it and it blended up really fast so that's that and then for the yogurt part i'm using um this harmless harvest it's their um unsweetened plain organic dairy free coconut yogurt alternative it's very good i've done video with them and i also did the video for the honesty so what i'm going to do and i'll show you what the croutons are going to be that's going to be something interesting also so all i'm going to do now is take some of this yogurt i'm going to mix it with this clean spoon and i'm going to put it um on the pasta so i'll see if i can move this over here um i don't know if you can see that but i you will you will be able to see it when it's done so i'm going to take some of the yogurt it's nice and thick which i like I'm going to take a, like a few spoons. This is a small spoon, but I'm going to take a few spoons of that. And I'm going to mix it, and I'll show you that in just a second. So that is the yogurt part. So here is, I'm showing it to you kind of in here. So I have the yogurt, and I'm kind of mixing it through the, um, the pasta to, to moisten it, to give it a nice, and it looks, it looks pretty, the, um, the dip, two different colors you're getting the black and the white so it's got a nice contrast and you can add more yogurt if you want it if you want to but i think that's a good amount i might add a little more but it's it, it's kind of glazed so to speak on the uh, pasta and then um, i'm going to take the fruit out of here and take a clean spoon for that get a clean spoon over here let's see if i find one i've got another clean spoon so um, this is that mix, like I said, mango and pineapple pieces. Mm, it smells really nice. And it's it's still a little bit chunky, but I think it'll be nice. Because I didn't want it to be too watery, so I only added enough liquid to cover the actual fruit itself. So I'm going to take a, a couple, maybe spoonfuls of this. And what's nice about this, it also has a cover, so you can always cover it and then put it in the fridge if you're not going to finish it all. And this is like a, like a sauce, like kind of like an applesauce. 
Okay, and, and there's some left in, this is the part where you blend it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mix that into the pasta as well. Okay, now you got a nice other color, which is a nice contrast too. So now you got some orange. So that's the fruity part of the yogurt sauce. We got that, and then I also have, I decided to put some cinnamon powder. This is just uh, marketed by uh, Sprouts, but it's their cinnamon powder, it's organic. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here as well. And you're probably not gonna be able to see the cinnamon, but it's just to give it a, like a little flavor. So it's more of a sweeter type of a dish. And then the croutons is again, uh, just something I just kind of thought of cleverly from another video I did for Soli. For, this is their mango and passion fruit gummies. So it's more of a chewy crouton. So I'm just gonna add some of those. And they're kind of stick, they kind of stick together. So I'm just gonna add those to the um, to the dish and I'll show that to you. We try to get that out without a spoon. They're kind of they kind of they kind of tend to stick together. So I'm just gonna pour some out and try to um, separate them with the, um, separate them with the spoon here to kind of show you if I can. <laughs> they tend to be, uh, like I say, stick together. They're very, they're gummy, as you say, they're gummy gummies, right? So, I don't know if, if I'll be able to get that, but I'll try. Maybe I, yeah. Just have to take the spoon and kind of pull them apart. So I'll kind of show you what this looks like and then I'll try it. I didn't put that many gummies in here, but I'll kind of show you. So you can see that. You can see, I don't know if you can see the gummies too. They're in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and taste it and see what I think. Make sure I get a gummy in here too. A gummy or two. Mmm. <laughs> that is delicious. Um, wow, it's really good. I hope you'll definitely try this. this is, I'm definitely going to be eating this a lot. This is amazing. And it's such a nice, the flavor, and I would probably add more yogurt. Um, the flavor mixed together with the fruit and the yogurt. I don't taste the yogurt so much, but it's really delicious. So I hope you'll definitely try this out and try out the recipe as well. So this is again the uh, Soli Organic Fruit and Nothing Else Green Banana Fusely Pasta. And I thank you for watching. It's the Ross and Vegan Gal.